Hi, I'm uh, Chef Jared, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make uh, pizza today. This is all uh, homemade pizza. First, I'm going to talk about the ingredients. Uh, so I have um, two kinds of cheese here. I have uh, mozzarella cheese uh, from Costco. Uh, they are very good. It's like two pounds for uh, seven fifty, and um, this is a grated Parmesan cheese. And you can use other cheese, uh, blue cheese, goat cheese, feta cheese, etc. I'll just have two kinds of cheese, so I use those. Um, a pasta sauce or pizza sauce, or you can make your own uh, tomato sauce. I just use this one. It's also from uh, Costco. It's easy. And uh, ingredients. So I have uh, sliced onion. I have jalapeno. I have um, green onions. I have uh, olives, sliced olives, and I have uh, pepperoni. Uh, and you can use any toppings that you like. And over here, I have uh, I have made the dough already, um, and the dough has been uh, rising for about three to four hours. So the ingredients for the dough uh, are uh, just regular flour, bread flour, um, water, yeast, and a little bit of sugar, and just let it rise. I tend to make the dough uh, really wet, as you can see, it's kind of sticky. Yeah, and. Um, you need some extra flour when you're kneading the dough and you need some cornmeal and I'll explain to you why we need cornmeal when uh, we talk about the tools um, so the tools that you need is you need a rolling pin you need a pizza paddle and very important is to have a, a pizza stone so th this is my oven here and inside I have a pizza stone um, and the oven, you want to set it to 550 degrees bake. So right now it's still going up. And I have a very hot stone. So I just leave the stone in there and I, I set the, the oven. And it takes 10, 20 minutes to get up to uh, 550 degree Fahrenheit. Very hot. Okay, I'm going to uh, form the dough now. So I'm going to sprinkle some flour on the surface here. Flour. The dough. And I just... Need it for a little bit, like that. So I'm gonna use a rolling pin to uh, flatten the dough. So I'm gonna put some, sprinkle some flour, so that my rolling pin doesn't stick on the dough. Okay, I'm gonna coat the rolling pin with some flour also, and I'll just roll it. That's about as big as I want to roll uh, dough and I sprinkle some flour. And, and, uh, now I'm gonna stretch it basically. You really need to stretch the dough, that will make it really, um, it'll make the dough rise really, really well and be really crispy. See the dough is pretty thin already. And uh, make sure you don't break it. Okay, right here. Okay, now um, the next step is to put the uh, sprinkle some flour on. Put a pinch of uh, cornmeal and sprinkle it over the pizza paddle. The reason is you don't want the dough to stick to the pizza paddle because you need to slide the pizza off the paddle onto the hot stone. And the flour and the cornmeal will actually let the pizza to slide into the dough, onto the uh, pizza stone, I mean, very easily. Okay, that's enough. Next, you place the dough onto the paddle, like that. Okay, and, uh, and what I do usually here is I try to stretch the dough a little bit more. Okay, the next step is I'm going to uh, spread the uh, 
uh, pasta sauce on the dough and uh, just have a couple of scoop and this will be enough and just spread it evenly and do not push too hard onto the dough or the dough might stick to the paddle which is then becomes very difficult to get the pizza off the paddle just like that now I'm going to put some uh, mozzarella cheese I'm going to space them like that apart and you know also I have uh, parmesan cheese so I don't want to put too much of the mozzarella that okay that's about uh, how much mozzarella cheese I'm going to put next I'm going to put some ingredients so I'm going to put some onion and the other half I'm, I'm just going to make a cheese pizza for my kids but uh, on, on the other half I'm going to put more ingredients for my wife and myself I love these jalapeno peppers. You just add a lot of bite into it. Okay, and some pepperoni. Okay, so now I'm gonna sprinkle some uh, Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna sprinkle like that. I don't like to put too much cheese because it's kind of like it's too overwhelming for me. Okay, and then I put a drizzle of olive oil, just like that, and put a sprinkle of uh, salt. Yeah. Now, the most important step is to slide the pizza onto the hot plate. Okay, so you put it here and you just kind of like jerk it and you slide it off, see how easy that is. And uh, it should get cooked in about uh, six to seven minutes, really quick. The pizza, the, the cheese is bubbly and turning brown and the crust is turning a really nice yellow and brownish. So um, it's about time. So I'm gonna pick up my paddle and just be careful, it's very hot. Pick it up using the paddle. Open the oven carefully and just go scoop it up. Just like that. And can you hear that? No. The sizzle of the cheese. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. And just set it here. Bon appétit